Hello, welcome collective my tribe. How are you? How are you? Just getting the energy right and right stage in the energy. I hope everything is going well for you. All right. I'll be like, like my little my little new thing for my table. <laughs> I wish it was blue. My favorite color is blue. I can't, I'm not really a, a pink girl. Um, today we're just gonna get messages. <clears throat> But what it is that spirit wants you to focus on at this time, okay? Spiritual messages from the divine. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope this uh, reading resonates with you, gives you some clarity, okay? We do have a lunar eclipse coming up October 28th. Somebody could be born October, August 28th. I don't know why I just heard August 28th, but October 28th is the full moon as well as the sol uh, lunar eclipse, okay? So it's a lot of changes, a lot of clarity, all right? A lot of understanding that's going to be coming in. A lot of emotions, okay? And for some, a lot of emotional detachment. All right, so I'm just going to give you guys some messages here. If you're looking to get a personal reading, you can check out the website in the description box, okay? Um, I am taking a couple people today. Ooh, it's already getting dirty. That's not like dark stuff. So, so yeah. Um... Make sure if this resonates with you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, okay, to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you can get access to all my videos, okay? Let's get into it. Spirit guides and Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me as I'm in the energy, protect me and my collective from any seen and unseen evil eyes. Spirit, to keep us protected in your light, comforted, okay, with understanding, Send any negative energy back to the sender, any dark magic, spell work, hexes, send it all back to the sender. Make it stick in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I say amen. All right, spirit guys, what messages do you have for my collective? Or what it is that you want them to focus on at this time, okay? I'm going to start with these. They're saying start with my lighted gold path oracle. I haven't used this in a long time. Sometimes, um my personal reading clients they'll see me use it for them what is it that you want my collective to focus on some of you guys could be um finding out some things and it may leave you distraught it may make you feel weary or just worried okay and there's a need for you not to okay it's, it's, it's a need for you to restrain okay from overindulging from obsessing okay you're gonna find clarity and I just looked at my, my weights, okay, and it says 10, 10. There's going to be some type of change here. It's like if you don't understand and just be still, you'll find clarity and being still and stillness, okay? Messages for the collective spirit. What is it that you want them to focus on and know? Some of you guys may be nervous, dealing, or suffering from anxiety. There's a need for you to get realigned with the divine. Release that anxiety. Find some type of peace, tranquility, something that calms you down. Whether it's taking breaths, doing breathing exercises, yoga, going for a walk, and getting grounded in nature, okay? Becoming one, speaking to God, reading, do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can come out of this anxiety, okay? Two cards, please. What you want, my collectors, to focus on spirit? Okay, I knew it. Okay, it says don't hold a grudge. It says it's not worth wasting your time and energies holding it against somebody for too long. Things just come and go. Lessons learned. From what we have in the end of at the end of the day is mutual love and empathy. So it's like don't hold no grudge against nobody. Whatever somebody done did, whatever you may find out during this lunar eclipse, don't hold any grudges against them. Let it go. Whatever they've done, whether it be them being mean to you leaving you for somebody else okay telling lies on you okay in me whatever it is don't hold no grudges that's something that they have to deal with forgive okay because at the end of the day forgiveness is for you so you can move on and you can be at peace with your life and do the things that you need to do without worry okay it says the highest octave of a fulfilled soul is letting go the ugly pieces of life okay 
keep giving, learning, loving, and forgiving. It's called true love, okay? So some of you guys too, I'm picking up on somebody here who's holding a grudge against somebody who chose somebody over them, okay? Some of you guys have to let that go, whether it be they chose a drug over you, they chose a person over you, a job over you, okay? They did something over you and it hurt you, okay? It's time for you to release that. During this lunar eclipse, and the holidays, because some people out there, I don't celebrate um, the holidays, but some people do. I don't judge, okay? Um, but during these holidays, during this full moon, you may get some type of clarity or some type of reflection, I heard, um, that is going to allow you to release. And there's a need for you to release. When you see that opening to release, release. You hold on to it. All you're doing is holding up your blessings. Don't hold no grudge with nobody. Release, let go, and let God, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's coming from a loving place. We are here to love one another <clears throat> and to learn how to give an equal give and take in love, okay? What else, Spirit? Clarify this energy here for what you want my, my tribe to focus on, okay? On my collective. Friendship and acceptance fell out for some of you guys. It's saying take it. I wasn't going to take it, but it's saying take it. So we have friendship and acceptance. Some of you guys, you have to forgive a friend who did you both. It's talk could have talked mad stuff behind your back, called you all types of names, okay? And there's a need for you to forgive and accept something here. For some of you guys, you usually got to accept, accept that, that this person is not really a friend, okay? For others of you, you have to accept that something, once you forgive something, your friendship or whatever you are in, is about to go to the next level, okay? Whatever this partnership is, it's gonna it's gonna take things to the next level. Whatever. Well, I mean, not whatever. Somebody's probably like, whatever, girl. I'm not trying to hit it. What else, Spirit? <laughs> Two more for my collective. For some of y'all, y'all need to focus on learning how to be somebody's friend, okay? You have to learn how to start off as friends so things can grow to something higher and to the next level. Okay, and you need to accept that everything happens for a reason. Some of you guys could have been trying to rush something and it didn't go out in your favor. All right? Two more. Release. Yes. We have friendship, true love, and release. Give me one second, y'all. Okay. So we have friendship, acceptance, true love, and release. So somebody needs to accept that whatever is going on between you and somebody else, it was true love. It was supposed to happen. However a situation played out, whether it was a friend, family member, a lover, okay, a business partnership, something was supposed to go the way it did. And now you need to accept the situation. You need to accept it for what it is. And what it is, is true love for some of you guys. What it is, is something that is affecting you emotionally, physically, and unconditionally. Like, it's, it's, it's abundance. <laughs> That's what I just heard, okay? And you need to release in order to get this. For some of you guys, I'm getting here that some, somebody could have been acting childish, okay? Somebody could have been acting very childish or they acted in the way that they did because children were involved and there's a need. They want you to forgive them, okay? And you need to be honest and they had to be honest to see if something really resonated with your morals and your values. Does it go along with what you believe in, okay? Does it, did everything that you do or did everything that this person do, like you need to, do, that word reflection, you need to go back and see, like, does this person even align with me? This was, something was moving too fast, y'all. Your thoughts could have been discombobulated. You could have not had the, the right understanding about certain things. All right, but you, you, I feel like somebody out there was missing, like y'all saw the red flags, but y'all kept going. Y'all kept trying to rush something, okay? And so something had a tower moment. The divine stepped in, 929 on the timer. All right. The divine stepped in for a reason. Something needed to be at a halt. But we're going to get more into that. 
but you're gonna have to make a decision here on if something is worth taking a leap of faith on. Are you ready to recommit to this person and give them a second chance? Or are you ready to give your family member a second chance here because you love them? And what happened, you understand, all right? You're coming out of your ego and, and sitting back and really reflecting on the situation and what happened, accepting your side and what you allowed, okay? And the part that you played in it. Because somebody definitely wants a second chance here. Some of you guys are going to have a choice between new love or a new friendship here and somebody who wants a second chance to apologize. At the time, you guys were on two different pages. Okay, for some of y'all, this is your twin flame. Y'all, and y'all dismissed the red flags with something, excuse me. And God is saying, wait, all right? Rejection is not God's divine protection. Let's get into this reading. Let's see what was going on. Let's see what was going on. If y'all hear me sniffing, I'm sorry. My allergies just started acting up out of the blue. Spirit so guys, clarify this energy here. But yeah, the moral of the story, don't hold a grudge. Because somebody, you guys really love somebody. So if the love is greater than what happened, then the anger, the, the, the dispute, forgive this person and move on. Stop trying to hold on to stuff. It's not going to get you nowhere. Sorry, y'all. My car is acting weird. Clarify this energy here. Don't be in a childish energy. For some of you guys, it's somebody that you have children with. Or this, or his children could be involved in the reason why something happened between you and this person. Clarify this energy spirit. Something is moving very slow. The Knight of Pentacles is shooting out. Somebody could be very guarded or this is you. Clarify this energy spirit. What's going on with my collective? Why is friendship here? Clarify my friendship. Yeah, some of you guys have released of yourself from a um a toxic relationship here with the devil card <clears throat> and the nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys have released yourselves. Yeah, there's a need for you guys to see the bigger picture. You guys got to sit back and reflect on a situation or some type of scenario. You guys have moved away from somebody or some a situation that was very toxic here. A Taurus Capricorn or Virgo could be involved, all right? I feel like some you guys are finding your independence. For a lot of you guys, I'm really feeling like you have set yourself free from a toxic situation and you're finally moving on and gaining some type of justice or balance here. Leave your energy, okay? What about the Nine of Pentacles and the Devil Spirit for this friendship? Yeah, somebody got clarity that somebody, something or somebody or something was very toxic, okay? Or there's a lot of obsession. I'm feeling too that some of you guys need to free yourself from, for some type of obsessive thinking, some type of obsession that you're going through. You guys are getting clarity at this time or you will be getting clarity during this lunar eclipse here. Okay, you guys are seeing it. That since you guys have set yourself free from something that was toxic, you're happier. You're ready to take a leap of faith on new things here. Somebody could just be waiting. I feel like you guys have set yourself free from somebody else here. Because it's three people. I'm getting multiple stories. So whatever storyline fits you, take, it what res take what resonates and leave the rest. Because I feel like it's just been a bunch of mess, okay? For some of you guys, something involved the third party. Somebody could have chose something toxic over you which allowed yourself to free yourself from from a situation okay whatever that situation was so it's like now you're free you're going on and took a leap of faith into a new situation here you could have got gained a lot of clarity with the sun card leo energy and you took a leap of faith here onto a new adventure which made this person sit and wait okay this is the king of pentacles here with the hangman here this person had to wait it's like they're still waiting. You're on on your new adventure, living your life, going, you know, having a faith and leaning on God, okay, being protected by spirit while this person is still sitting and waiting. It's like they have one foot out and one foot in. All right. They're stuck in some type of situation or they're trying to get a different perspective on the situation here about an empress. They're still thinking about you, but they're waiting for some of you guys. Okay. For some of you guys, there somebody's mother got involved. 
This person is thinking about another opportunity with you with the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're trying to either heal or renew themselves. For some of you guys, they're trying to heal themselves from a third party situation where this is you. I feel like y'all are on to a new situation, but this person is getting a new outlook on commitment here and what you brought to the table. Somebody wants to renew something with you. They want to heal something with you. Aquarius energy here, Libra energy. It's like they're ready to collaborate with you and heal this. They want to talk to you because something else has ended. So some of you guys, there's whatever third party situation happened between you and this person, 15, 15 on the timer. This person is now leaving a situation, a third party situation, because it, it does not no longer reside or resonate with them. And I feel like you had set yourself free first. You had to free yourself from this. And you guys probably still think about this person, but you have clarity on the situation here. This, you guys are definitely obsessing over something for some of you guys. Give me more on this energy with friendship with the sun. Something was illuminated to you or brought to your attention here. The six of swords, yeah. Whatever was illuminated here <clears throat> allowed you to move forward. Spirit, I, <clears throat> Spirit guided you. For some of you guys, you have a grandmother or a, a mother figure or something in the spirit realm that is guiding you. Because I don't know why in this picture, like I have a vision of this woman really not being here, but you're in the boat alone, but you can sense your spirit guides leading you. Okay. And with this full moon here, it's like the path is being illuminated for you to move forward. So some of you guys are not moving forward. And it's I, I said a prayer earlier before I started recording to let things be illuminated to my collective, myself and my collective on what path to go and how to move, right? This person that you were dealing with is struggling financially or somebody, whether it be family, friend, whatever, relationship. This person is struggling trying to balance out things. They're trying to figure things out. Their life, I feel like it's very much in a lot of turmoil here. They're, they're trying to figure out because they're struggling here. I feel like this person does not have much to bring you. They want to apologize to you. But I feel like they're searching in their pockets to see what it is that they can offer you. And because they feel like you're the one with the nine of cups. They want you. They're stressed out of you, uh, over you. Nine of cups, nine of swords here. And they're stressed because they know that they have to find a way to become this emperor. Because you are already an empress energy here. They know that they snuck behind your back and went to somebody else. Somebody that they possibly had a family with. But a path is definitely being illuminated for some of you guys. Some of you guys, you have, you are, you've been set free from something toxic. Okay? And now you could be happy now. Or things are illuminated. The pathway that you need to go on is illuminated now. What is this Six of Swords with friendship? Give me more on that. Yeah, your intuition here. You are highly protected. High priestess energy. Pisces. All right, you guys are moving forward here. Your higher self is guiding you all the way. Yes, it's six of pentacles with the six of wands. Yeah, you're getting, you're got, being guided to something that's going to be an equal re reciprocity. Some of you guys with this six of pentacles here, the six of wands and the four of pentacles, your spirit guys told you to slow down on the giving because sometimes you may tend to overextend yourself or over give and you thought because you felt like something was successful in your mind you felt like things were balanced out it's like they wanted you your spirit guys wanted you to set up boundaries when it came to giving right let somebody come in and show you why they need to why they need to have what you give And you guys didn't hold back, but I feel like now you guys are holding back. I feel like your intuition is guiding you where you need to go at this time. And they could be telling you that something is not over. Look, the emperor just popped out as I cut the day. What is this high priestess spirit? Why well, is the high priestess here? For some of you guys, somebody's detaching from a commitment, okay? Some of you guys know that this person, this, this same man is leaving this toxic connection because this is the same character in this toxic relationship here, this toxic partnership. 
it's like whoever this person got involved with y'all they did not trust this person because this man is side eyeing this rabbit and the rabbit is not making eye contact with this person. They looking this way. This person did not trust whoever they went to. Whoever they, they left you alone for. Because the Knight of Pentacles speaks of being free. Okay, single, independent. Whoever they left you hanging for, they did not trust that person. And now they're getting or They had to see something. Okay? They had to leave you to see something because... Now this person is detaching hangman in reverse from some type of commitment, ace of pentacles, because they didn't get a return on their investment here. Something did not work out. They took a huge loss and now they're feeling burdened here with the ten of wands. And I heard the ten of pentacles. This is, they could have gave to somebody who they had a family with. Okay. Or they, they basically had some type of longevity with, and it did not work out. Look, three people, you, this person who got in the middle of this connection and this y'all looking at each other and this person is just standing in the middle getting what they can take. Child, whatever interference was there, I'm telling you now, y'all know it's over. This person has detached from some type of commitment or either you guys felt them getting ready to detach from you and this could have brought on a heartbreak. But y'all, I'm telling you, something has ended intuitively something has ended between somebody and this third party but this definitely hurts you when you had to walk away from this person and let you sad depressed confused okay feeling angry feeling like things were at odds okay whatever argument chaos or interruption that happened it's like it, it hurt but just know that this 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 blockage here was protecting you you're getting truth here ace of swords you're getting some type of honesty that it was time for you to move forward god and your spirit guys came in and moved you forward now this person has to recover from the ending meanwhile you're getting the victory and success here you could have been afraid of the unknown because you felt rejected and abandoned from this person. And they went ahead and got inside another connection. But the whole time they've been thinking about this empress, which is you and how they could take a leap of faith with you. Child. Give me more on this ace of pentacles in reverse with the hangman in reverse here. What's going on? There's so many storylines. They want to come back together with you. Something definitely, it's like, I feel like this person is upset that things didn't work out with you. I'm getting this upset energy. They, this person is literally, I feel like they're going to be driven by jealousy because they're coming up off of this, off this waiting, off this, this tree here, this clock. They've been waiting for a long time and not giving you no type of commitment Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody who possibly is not committal. But now, I feel like somebody's going to be driven by jealousy because you out here with these people. You, you've been chilling. You've been being conservative, keeping what you got going on hidden. And this Sun card, all right, you see how this this uh, block, this uh, barrier is here. Y'all been keeping what y'all got, you know, going on on a hush-hush. All right, and now, all of a sudden, it's like you getting ready to come out. And show that you're celebrating, you having fun, you living your life, you having a blast with your homegirls, homeboys. And I feel like somebody is being burdened by this. Yeah. And like I said, and now they want to come out and they want to run towards you. Now they want to take this risk because and, and have this have faith in what's going on with you because now they want to be with you. Or now they want to entertain you or be back friends or something because they see that that you out here partying. Now they want to reconcile and fix what was wrong. But I do feel like whatever happened between them and this third party, it's over with. But you're going to need to set up boundaries. I just saw the seven of wands. I'm not mean for that to come out. I feel like you're holding back your emotions right now. Okay, you're not showing any feelings. And that person feels, ugh, they feel burdened. You're putting up barriers, y'all. And now they want to come in and reconcile. Give me one more with this three of cups. They want to be friends. Because they see you as wife and, and or they see you as wife or best friend material or whatever. Take it how it resonates. Ten of Pentacles. It's like y'all could be out here partying as well and having fun with your homegirls, homeboys. But at the end of the day, you really want to be at home with the Ten of Pentacles and have a family. It's like after all this partying and things like this. 
even with this person, I'm getting somebody who was non-committal. All right. They like to have options. They like to have fun, you know, go out partying and kicking it. But when they come home, they all alone. It's like they have all this abundance and nobody to give it to. Okay. All this freedom and nobody to give it to. It's like somebody's not really happy here. For some of you guys, you really miss this person. But somebody wants to reconcile with you. They want to give you this ten of pentacles. But I, they're waiting. They're waiting. Or they're keeping you waiting with the three of wands here. They're trying to strategize. And it's like, this could make you even more guarded. Give me acceptance here. You feel comfortable with somebody. Yeah, two of cups. Somebody, this person wants to come back into union with you. So for some of you guys, this is your soulmate. This is your twin. It's like now somebody wants to invest. It's like somebody has to accept that, that you guys are soulmates. This is either you or your person. You guys have to accept that you guys are meant to be or you guys came into each other's life because twin flames and soulmates come into your life to teach you a lesson, whether you guys stay together or not. Somebody has to accept that they, this is something that they should invest in, put the work in towards so that they can have this hierophant, so that they can have something traditional because they have faith in it because this is something that they manifested and now they're getting it and now they're struggling with what they're seeing. It's slow. <laughs> it's slow. <laughs> Ew! Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. Ooh, yeah, it's, it's been right under somebody's nose because now I'm sneezing. What about acceptance in the two of cups here? Give me more on that. Yeah, somebody is like wanting to give up. Y'all, for sure, this, as you can see, it's the same people in these two cards with the two of cups and then the, the devil card here. Somebody gave up on a, a connection that was interfering inside y'all. They gave up on it. It was not something that they needed. They have closed out that cycle. That cycle is done. Somebody could be pissed. What about the two of cups here with the nine of wands in reverse? Why is that here? Death card, Scorpio energy. For some of you guys, this is you and your person. It's like you're, you're like I said, you're free. You're free to move on. Because somebody was being reckless here. And now you're guarded. Now you're standing up for yourself and you're protecting what you have. It's like you're standing on what you say and what you mean. This is somebody who you could have had a past life relationship with. And now it's like they're missing you. For some of you guys, you got new love coming in. <clears throat> After some ending. <clears throat> And others of you, I feel like somebody's changing. For some, it's, I'm getting two sides, two three sides to a story here. For some of you guys, there, there is somebody that you were dealing with that you had deep feelings for here. They could have left you. They are literally y'all. They're ending whatever they had with somebody else is over with. It's done. They're no longer in commitment. They want to reconcile and have a family with you. They want something stable and solid and stable with you. They see all of that with you. They see who you are now. For others of you, it's like you may have to have freed yourself from a situation that was toxic. You, this could have been your karmic, all right? And hey, you're like, I'm done. Like, ain't no, ain't no backseats. Like, I want something new here. I would rather be single and abundant than to lower my standards for somebody, okay? But somebody definitely wants to reconcile. What about this death card, Scorpio Energy? Something is definitely changing. There's been a change here. Somebody's in a two of swords. Somebody's still confused or in denial. You could think, be unsure if something is over. Somebody was in conf confusion. Somebody can still be confused. Somebody was confused on what way to go. So they took the action and just ended things all together with you, which could have possibly forced you to walk away from things, okay, and that didn't serve you. And it made you sad. Like I said, it kept, it's like it kept you in confusion and mentally trapped. You feel stuck because of this, because you don't know. You're confused on why this fight even happened, but you're about to gain clarity. Something about this full moon, this lunar eclipse. Hold on, y'all, my nose. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. But ain't no, <laughs> ain't no mute button. But yeah, something here is about to, you about to get truth of why somebody rushed and did something here. But you're definitely, you have a choice. There's a change happening. Something is about to get illuminated. All right. What about the two of swords? We accept that. Yeah, somebody is confused. They're scatterbrained. It's the cherry and um that's your answer. <laughs> I don't know for somebody that's your answer. The cherry and reverse is cancer energy. Something is like scattered, going everywhere. Somebody could be having problems with their car, their car could not be working. Somebody was it's I feel like somebody is confused on why something ended in the first place. It's like they don't even know why they rejected you. But spirit is making them put the work in here. Yeah, so somebody could be going through an awakening. What's this cherry in reverse with the two of swords for acceptance? Yeah, somebody wants to apologize. There's some type of surprise coming. Somebody's coming in with an apology or some type of gift or surprise here to balance things out. And for some of you guys, it's the truth here. Give me more. The page of cups. Give me more. Yeah, something is about to get exposed with the moon, uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. I mean, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Scorpio, um, Pisces energy. Cancer, Cancer as well. Somebody is recovering. You're about to get clarity that somebody has been recovering from some type of ending here. Or recovering from, um, with the hermit here. Somebody's been spending a lot of time alone thinking about taking action to, towards what makes them happy and have a new opportunity with you. But they've been holding back their feelings for you. They've been holding back. Which caused some burdens on you and made you go in another direction. Because you could have thought that this person didn't want you. You felt like somebody gave up on the connection for some of you guys. but And all of a sudden there was a change and you couldn't. It was an ending and you were confused. It's like you was confused on what happened. But now somebody wants to apologize here and give you some clarity. Because they're doing a lot of introspection. They're doing a lot of recovering. Some of you guys, somebody was sick. I feel like for those of you who are in no contact with somebody, they're about to give you clarity on why they weren't speaking to you, why they were holding back to you, and it's going to surprise you. <clears throat> they were giving to a queen of wands for some of you guys, a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but now it's like they want to contest that they have, but they have feelings for you. They closed some type of cycle here and they want a new beginning with you. Yeah, because they feel like you're the one, not who they were with. They're gaining clarity right now. And the clarity that they, they're they getting is a hard pill to swallow. What about the four of swords? It's like they're getting ready to accept the fact, yeah, things are moving forward. They were struggling to see. They were struggling to accept the truth with judgment here and the two of pentacles. They were struggling to accept the truth. That the one who walked away was the one. And now it's like it's stressing them out. They want to end this sadness. It's like something is faded. This was faded. You guys have to accept that everything that happened between you and this person was faded. That's why they're saying, don't hold a grudge. Forgive this person because all of this was faded to happen. All of this was faded. This ending between, between you and somebody, it was faded. Because now we have, listen, them abandoning you was supposed to happen because one, they were dealing with a lot. All this water shaking, this person was dealing with a lot and they were hiding a lot from you with this, with him having his cards in his hand, all right? And you're looking at this King of Cups like, why are you rejecting me? Why are you doing this to me? What did I say? The Queen of, hence, the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is you, this is your energy. You're looking like, why did you reject me? Why did you leave me out in the cold? Why did you deny me? That they denied you because they were hiding things that you didn't even know. The most high made this happen. Oh, the hierophant sitting right here. The most high made them ha made this happen. Y'all are supposed to have something traditional. This person could have had options here and they were hiding this. It was blocking things from moving forward between you guys. So something was faded. Accept that. 
What's the true love? I feel like y'all both love each other. The feelings are mutual. Yeah, somebody rejected their true love's offer. But I'm getting this energy that they coming back. They want to give to you. They rejected your offer just to say that they want to come back. Yeah, somebody now wants to commit. What about the true love with the Ace of Cups in reverse? Leo, uh, what is that? Why I say Leo? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Then we have the King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, the Gemini energy, and the Justice card, Libra energy. They rejected your offer because they needed to see something. This person didn't know, I feel like, if this was real love or not. You guys have a past life connection here. Now you're setting up boundaries. This person misses your love. And they want to rush in. They're going to. I feel like this person rejected your love, trying to be very cold towards you. And now you're about to get some type of karmic justice. What about this energy anymore? You walked away and went towards your wish fulfillment here. Why is this Ace of Cups in reverse, spirit? Give me that Ace of Cups in reverse. With true love. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Ooh, I'm going to make my card. They're returning. What did I say? Somebody who rejected your love or who has gone through some type of breakup with a third party, they are returning. They see that they're in love with you, y'all. Or they see that they care about you. They're about to illuminate here that they care about you. They want to resurrect this with the judgment card here. They want to resurrect this connection. They miss you. But there's a need for you to set up boundaries so that you don't recklessly go do things and, and cause another tower moment. They're returning with the three of wands. Somebody not waiting no more. What I say, page of swords, they're taking action because they want to balance things out with you. They see that they were the problem. Who is this king of swords? Give me this king of swords. They're stressed. Because they see that they were dealing with illusions here. They feel like they made the wrong choice here. And now it's like they're guarded. They're taking their time here. Because this queen of wands, somebody that they were dealing with, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, they, they somebody wanted to win at all costs. Somebody was jealous of this connection, jealous of how they were coming. So they, they it's like they deterred this person to come towards them. Why is the nine of swords? What are they stressed about? Yes, family could have had this person stress, causing commotion, okay? They could have had you in competition with somebody that they had a family with here. But people were fighting to block this connection, y'all. But guess what? It's, the spark is being reignited. They could be fighting with family here. And that was what was keeping them trapped in confusion and sadness. Or this is y'all. But that's what you had. You just walked away. What about this eight of cups? You just walked away. And now somebody wants to come in with an apology. They want a new adventure because they see the truth. I was going to say this emperor sees the truth about somebody. They see the truth that somebody was sneaking and manipulated, that they were manipulated. Somebody's family could have gotten in between this connection or yours. But they're turning their back on the Queen of Wands. Whoever this Aries is, because that's Emperor Energy, they're turning their back on this person. What did I say? And then we have uh, Beyonce and Luther Vandross. They said, she said something about we'll find true love in a special way. You guys found each other in a special way. It was hard, hard pills to swallow, but this is true love. This is what's supposed to happen. What about the nine of cups? This is y'all's nine of cups and the ten of cups. This is wish fulfillment here. Something failed. Something was not built on stable ground here. With the four of wands, somebody could have left or got evicted here. This uh, emperor... Well, this is the emperor and the king of pentacles. This person is struggling financially right now. And they're dealing with a heartbreak right now. They want to take action, but they're scared. They're scared. They're mentally trapped right now in, in mental confusion. But they do want a new opportunity. But their money could not be right right now. 
this person is definitely struggling. They're in like a, a lot of turmoil. They're gonna take action though. They're going to. They're just focused on what's happening in front of them at this time. They're dealing with a lot. What about this four of wands in reverse? Yeah, a tower moment. Yeah, they have they have to they, they're trying to recover from a loss. I'm trying to tell y'all so that they can have something successful and be able to invest in this empress and take a risk. They're burdened by their feelings for you and how they did you. They are, they they don't like how they did you. This person is in love with you, y'all. They cannot stop thinking about you. What about release? Give me more on this release spirit. Yeah. They're healing at this time and you could be healing. Queen of Pentacles, you've healed, I feel like. You guys have balanced out your energy, your masculine and feminine energy here, and you're collaborating with other people. You could be giving here, but something is about to be illuminated to you. So some of y'all could be entertaining new people, new suitors, or just getting out, okay? Dating or just, you know, having fun. Take it how it resonates. Um, but this person is now, I feel like they're healing as well. They're in a phase of healing from whatever ended between this person because you, they want to be friends. I heard, I want to be more than friends though. What about release in the star? The Knight of wands. Yeah. Somebody's healing for their sneak from their sneaky ways because they took action and they were being sneaky and manipulative. And now they're seeing the truth about a third party that they gave to and now they're healing because they want to come in and talk to you they ended something for good though they have what about the star here in the night of wands somebody wants to come towards the star which is you collective and there's a need for you to set up boundaries they definitely miss you i feel like this person may be blocked right now that that's the reason why they can't come in towards you. You may be wanting this person to come in towards you, but you probably can't because you have your boundaries up. You may have blocked them over the phone or blocked this person energetically for some. Yeah, this was supposed to be keeping my coffee hot and the things turned off. I have a little coffee warmer thing I just got yesterday. Um, but yeah, you probably, this person wants to come in and heal things with you and, and have a renewal, but you have them blocked. You miss this person just as much as they miss you with the six of cups energy. But if you want this new opportunity, you can't be holding back from this person. You can't block them y'all. In order to move forward, you got to be willing to see the truth and, and accept certain things. What is this, um, seven of wands energy spirit? Yeah, you got this King of Cups blocked for some of y'all. And it's like they trying to come in and talk. What about this King of Cups? They want forgiveness. They feel stupid. Yeah, they ghosted. I'm telling you, they ghosted whoever they're not. This queen of wands. They're not talking to this person. They, the wheel. I mean, not the wheel. Ooh, it's, this was faded. Whatever happened between them, whatever they had to learn about this other party, it was faded. But they closed out that cycle here with the world card. And they're ready to have a new beginning with you. And you could be coming up as the queen of source. Mm -hmm. Like, they may feel like you're bitter or something like that. Or you're just very guarded, all right? You're protecting your feelings here. Because it's just been too much drama and confusion and sadness. But yeah, they ghosted somebody. What about the six cups? What about the hermit and the queen of swords? Because she just popped out. So whoever this queen of swords is, this is they could be going to court. Then with a court battle with somebody who they're no longer with. And they're going to get justice. They're going to get justice for it. Because they're no longer putting in work with somebody here. For some of y'all, it's y'all who's ghosting this situation. And y'all don't, y'all turning this back on this person. Because you guys no longer want to deal with this person. You, Some of you guys are releasing this person. Everybody's not staying with their this, this person here. A lot of y'all are releasing whoever did you wrong and some of you guys this is them take it how it fits 
I'm about the six of cups. Yeah. Some of you guys are moving away from the past and moving forward, getting back realigned. And you're headed towards new lovers with the Gemini energy. What about the lovers? What about the page of wands in reverse? For some of you guys, somebody is coming towards you, but, the, but it's delayed. Somebody is like really hoping that you don't tell them that it's over. Um, others of you, somebody is going to be relaying, relaying some news that it's over between somebody else. But some of y'all, I'm really getting this energy that y'all finna detach yourself from somebody else here who you do love. But it's just it, how they did you was just too harsh for you. And you're just done. Okay. And others of you, I'm getting that they're going to be telling you something here. What is this page of wands in reverse with the queen of cups? Somebody is still kind of confused on their love for you. And I'm and I hear somebody see that's what I don't have time for. What about the eight of the four here? Yeah, some of you guys are going towards new love, but others of you I feel like somebody's gonna be telling someone that they've been dealing with that it's over. Take it how it resonates. This could be your person's story or somebody that you were dealing with story. Um, or this is yours. Take it how it resonates. But something is over for somebody. Somebody's not. Mm -hmm. They saying no, baby. <laughs> I feel like a lot of y'all are in the eight of swords. A lot of y'all are mentally confused. Okay. You feel stuck in your emotions with a situation. And you're trying to figure out like how to do something. And a spirit is telling you, just sit back. You're going to get the clarity. You're going to get the clarity. The moment that you release, you need to forgive somebody. You need to forgive somebody and release this. Whether this is you or somebody that you're dealing with that's in your energy or that you're waiting to come back into contact with, y'all need to release this negative energy. All right? Forgive this person and release. Friend, family, lover. Do all that. Spirit God, clarify this relationship. I mean, not this relationship. Clarify this situation. Give me more on this. Yeah, y'all, I feel like y'all just been in conflict with your emotions here. Magnetic attraction. Yeah, this was faded. This situation that happened was faded. Give me more. Anxiety, depression. Like I said, somebody, a lot of y'all are dealing with a lot of anxiety. I said that in the beginning. Somebody's dealing with a lot of anxiety, panic attacks, can't sleep. Y'all are in a nine of swords energy, feeling very much so overwhelmed with some type of offer. Somebody has broken up with somebody else. They walked away with from somebody else. They want to bring, somebody has anxiety about bringing you an offer. They walked away from somebody else here with break up. And this is going to, they're going to message you or reach out to you. And you're going to be, that's going to be unexpected for you. You're going to be so confused here, but they're going to be telling you the truth to balance out things. Any more? Yes. Somebody is stressed out about giving you a proposal, an offer here in a relationship. They want to date you. They have broken up with somebody that was toxic. So if you did not know, now you know. They've broken up with this person and they want to tell you. What about acceptance here? That's why they're saying this friendship is leading more. So for some of you guys, this is your person's energy. This is what's happening behind the scenes. This is what they're having to go through. They have to realize something about you guys' friendship and y'all's relationship so that they can accept it that you're their person. And move forward because this is a true love connection. And then they have to release. They have to release this person that they had a family with or, or something that wasn't traditional. They, they had something going on with somebody who was a hoe. Somebody who was out here spreading themselves too thin with many people. Who somebody was who was lazy. Didn't procrast who, who procrastinated. Somebody who needs to do some shadow work. Yeah, this player. This person was being a player. That when they was with you or dating you, they had options, y'all. They had options. And now they have to go because of what they did to you. This is like you triggered. You triggered their awakening. They're going to want to take risk here. 
and be friends and come back together with you. That's that three of cups energy. Because why? They have feelings for you. But they thought that the grass was greener. And that brought about a heartbreak for you and is bringing back one to them. What about acceptance and the player? What comes around goes around. Storm warning. They're going through a lot of up people. I feel like this is happening now. Somebody's going through acceptance after some type of risk that they took because they were in their comfort zone. See, they chose somebody that was in their comfort zone. Somebody who was in this negative energy as they were. Somebody who was in a slutty way as they were, right? Somebody who had, who matched their energy on a low vibration. They took a leap of faith on that and guess where it ended? In a heartbreak, it didn't work. And you guys already knew this would not work. Intuitively, you knew that something wasn't leading to a commitment. You knew it. Hear me more with player and storm warning. Oh, shit. <laughs> The divine intervene, causing a lot of confusion. Now this person's single, watching your situation, <laughs> watching your social media, tempted to talk to you, but they're going through a spiritual, spiritual awakening. Yeah, they watching y'all because that fell out on the um the social media came out. What about player and storm morning? Or they keeping tabs on you through other people that y'all know? Yeah, they were snake charm for some of you guys. That's what made them put put them in a crossroads. Somebody, they had a choice to make. And they got tempted here. And they left you feeling guarded. What about music? Yeah, this person feels regret for letting somebody get in between what y'all had going on. Look, I'm telling y'all, they're, they're letting go of this party scene, these options. Okay, they're realizing the truth. Unexpectedly, they're realizing the truth here about family some of you guys they could be going to court and getting a divorce from somebody or did it dealing with a uh, child support okay because they realize that you're their soulmate they're in regret they want to apologize to you that's that page of cups energy and the page of pentacles here they want to apologize because they definitely they can through some shit Give me another one. yeah they regret being tempted by an ex-lover child and now they were tempted by their ex-lover now they want to reconcile with y'all their intuition is telling them that it's not over. Yeah, their intuition is telling them that it's not over because you guys are going to be dating. But they had to break up with this person first. And I feel like this person that they were dealing with is watching y'all too. What about the true love? Any more? Stop and close up this reading. What about true love, spirit? Intuition. Somebody's intuition is telling them that you are the person that they're meant to be with. Or they was. Yeah, you ain't no secret. <laughs> Addiction came out of reverse. They released this toxic, they, their toxicity. They freed themselves, y'all. That's what it was talking about. They freed themselves about a toxic relationship here. They're gaining some type of clarity and moving forward. Their intuition told them to end something and detach from some type of third party situation and work on their abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. It's all coming together. You see how in the beginning it started off con like all conjumbled and, and, and a mess. Okay, but now things are starting to balance out. Now clarity is coming and that's what's going to be happening during this lunar eclipse. Okay. The secret crush, yeah, you're not a secret no no more. They're realizing who you are and they're gaining the courage here to do so. To you, this is gonna be odd behavior. Okay, one more, give me some more about this, Shula. Yeah, they're gaining feelings to in, like embrace their feelings for you. They're dealing with a spiritual awakening here. You make them feel comfortable. They could be at home, their, their spirit guides could be helping them, but they're realizing that they want a family with you. You are somebody who they want to live with. What about this um, release? Any more? They're stepping outside of their comfort zone with the home here. Something ended in a home situation, a home setting. Whoever they lived with, that's over with. But they're stepping outside of their comfort zone. What about release? They're no longer finna be spying. They about to come after you. And spirit is saying, legal matters, truth, single. Yeah, they're coming after you. Okay, they're balancing something out. They're seeing something. They're seeing the truth. What about social media and that in reverse the release? Any more? Divine intervention. Yeah. The divine is making this happen because they could have been hiding or concealing. What are they concealing with the mask and release? They're hiding that they're going through a spiritual awakening. <laughs> they don't want you to know because some of you guys, they could be at a distance here. Okay, you guys are far apart, whether it be metaphorically or physically, okay? They're changing. I feel like they're no longer doing this hookup uh, BS that they've been doing. 
they're done <laughs> anything else yeah you're gonna be receiving some type of text message what you're gonna be receiving a text message about they're gonna be telling you some type of truth to balance things out yes because they're letting go it's like the moment that you let go and surrender unexpectedly you guys are coming back together but make sure you're reading in between the lines here and make sure you're there they really did what they said they did get evidence <laughs> Cause somebody gonna be taking a uh, risk in divine timing. They saying that's it, okay? So if this resonated with you guys and this gave you some type of clarity, let me know what happens during the um the was that the lunar eclipse? Something started during the solar eclipse. We have five fifty five oh five. So if this resonates and you guys get some truth from now to the October 28th and after, y'all let me know. If this resonates with you right now, make sure you leave a, we're gonna do a blue heart in the comments, all right? Until next time, bye. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.